Good afternoon, seventh period. My name is Kevin Sharazen. Our top story today is one of the greatest mathematicians who ever lived, Johannes Kepler. Kepler was a key figure in a 17th century scientific revolution and made advancements in optics as well as creating the laws of planetary motion. Johannes Kepler was born into a family of six on December 27, 1571. His father, Heinrich Kepler, was a mercenary. He left the family when Johannes was just five years old. His mother, Katharina Goldenman, was a healer and a herbalist. Later in her life, she was tried for witchcraft. Johannes Kepler was introduced to astronomy at a very young age. At the age of six, he observed the Great Comet of 1577. Also, at the age of nine, Kepler observed a lunar eclipse in 1580. It was moments like these that started his fascination in math and astronomy. Johannes Kepler attended the University of Tübingen. He spent his time at Tübingen studying philosophy. Kepler was a strong believer in the Copernican system of planetary motion. This is the idea that the planets revolve around the sun. This was grounding for Kepler's own laws of planetary motion, which he published in the year 1609. Now to report on the first law of planetary motion, Alice de Giacomo. Johannes Kepler's most popular law is his first law of planetary motion. This law describes that each planet's orbit around the sun is in the shape of an ellipse rather than a perfect circle, which was at first a general understanding of planetary orbit. Early in his work, Kepler assumed that the orbit of Mars around the sun was in the shape of a perfect circle. So he measured the distance of Mars to the sun, where the sun is at one foci. He took several different measurements where Mars was at different locations orbiting the sun. Then, because he assumed the orbit was a perfect circle, he calculated the correct measurements on paper. He compared his results and noticed that the data numbers he calculated for Mars' orbit were slightly off. Two years later, Kepler realized that the orbit was not in the shape of a circle, but in the shape of an ellipse. Now to Casey Comstone on his second law of planetary motion. Oh, hello fellow peers. Today we'll be talking about Johannes Kepler's second law of planetary motion. This is also known as the law of equal areas. I'll give you a look as to what it looks like. The law states that a line joining the sun and the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal times. This means that the planet moves faster when it's closer to the sun than when it's further. Thus, the planet executes an elliptical motion with constantly changing angular speed as it moves about its orbit. And that's Johannes' Kepler's second law of planetary motion. Next, we're going to send it over to Connor Casey with modern optics. Johannes Kepler is considered the founder of modern optics, thanks to his many findings about light and vision. In his book, Astronomia Pars Optica, which means the optical part of astronomy, he was titled the founder of modern optics. He was the first to discover many of the common theories of optics. He was the first to use a pinhole camera to investigate the formation of pictures, the first to explain the process of vision by refraction within the eye, the first to formulate eyeglass designs for nearsightedness and farsightedness and the first to explain the use of both eyes for depth perception. He was the first to describe real, virtual, upright, and inverted images, and the concept of magnification. He was the first to explain the principles of how a telescope works, and the first to, first to discover and describe the properties of total internal ref reflection. Without performing new experiments and solely by the application of the laws of light refraction, he analyzed a path of light through the eye and demonstrated that an image is formed on the retina and that, is it, that it is inverted. Kepler's discovery of the path of light in the eye made it possible to explain the following physical phenomenon. Central visual acuity, visual field, dark adaptation, and errors of refraction. On more important news, the Johannes brothers released a new hit single, Connex in a Box. <laughs> Hey, fellas, I got something real important to tell you, so just sit back and listen. Well, you know we love math for a long, long time. Such a long time. And now I'm ready to lay it on the line. Well, we could talk equations. 
or how to draw the line. But I think that we all knew we'd just be wasting your time. A topic real special, so take off the top. Take a look inside. It's Connex in a box. It's in a box. Circles are round like a pizza pie. The lips are like circles, but they really wide. Parabolas bend like the letter U. Hyperbolas are similar, but there are two. With circles you can solve for the radius. Ellipses have a vertex and a focus. Do me a favor and look what I got. It's something special, boys. It's Connex in a box. Connex in a box, yeah, yeah. It's Connex in a box. Ooh, it's Connex in a box, yeah. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift means giving. And I got just the one. Something to show you that Connex are second to none. To all the fellas out there with Connex to express, it's easy to do. Just follow these steps. One. Cut a hole in the box. Two. Put some Connex in the box. Three. Make someone open the box. And, and that's, that's the way you do it. It's Connex in a box. Connex in a box, yeah, yeah. It's Connex in a box. Ooh, it's Connex in a box, yeah.